So on Monday, there was a mock draft released by CBS. It was uh, written by, I believe, Chris uh, Trapazzo, but he released a way too early mock draft and said essentially like it's never too early to release a way too early mock draft. It's never too early to just smoke unprecedented amounts of drugs because some of the picks in this in this draft are just obscene. Of course, I, I think that's part of the reason why te- places like ESPN and CBS and 24-7 put things like this together is because they can get engagement on it in the offseason, and it's that dry spell for these boys. Not for us here at Locked On Kentucky. We're still rolling. There, There is no offseason here, in the words of Josh Pate. But yeah, Will Levis, according to Chris, will go first overall, at least in this way too early mock draft, to the Houston Texans, and this is what Chris says about Will Levis. Levis feels like a quarterback who can eventually be the number one overall pick. He's big, chiseled, and has a rocket for an arm and can scramble. The Texans will probably be in the quarterback market in a big way next offseason. And yeah, and Davis, if Davis Mills for the Texans does not pan out, and it's not really looking like he's going to, uh, the neck heard around the world there in Houston, uh, if he doesn't pan out, I could definitely see them taking somebody like Bryce Young. Now, Will Levis going first overall right now, guys. Uh, listen, listen, listen. I love Will Levis, right? I love his gunslinger mentality. I've compared him to Matthew Stafford on this show. Like, I like him. Don't get me wrong. I like him. I don't see him right now. I can see him potentially as a first-round guy. I don't see him as the best quarterback in next year's draft. Now, that's awesome that somebody at CBS, an analyst, thinks so. But this was taken by me as more of off-season content for the boys to enjoy and to get excited over, rather than actual an actual legitimate take that is founded and reasonable. Now, this is reasonable to, extent, to an extent. Like, don't get me wrong. Levis is a good quarterback. He's a good quarterback. Also threw the most picks in the SEC last season, if, or, or tied for it, if I'm not mistaken. So there are some things that Levis can work on. Absolutely. There are definitely things that he can work on and turnovers being one of them. But uh, to to kind of give Trapazzo like some credit here, I mean, Levis is incredibly athletic. He's got a really big arm. He's got great size sitting at 6'3", 225, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I, I think that, you know, as far as the just the physical attributes go, he looks like an NFL quarterback. It's just the decision-making and the mental side of things that I just don't know if that if he's right now has first overall pick well, written all over him, right? I want to see him develop a little bit more this year. I want to see what he does with some of these new receivers. I'm not saying that he's not going to become potentially a first overall pick. I'm just saying right now, based on how places like CBS and ESPN operate in the offseason, I think this is, in the words of Dante Allen, just to stir the pot a little bit. So I, that, that's the way that I perceive it. And if you disagree, if you're like, no, Levis is going first overall and he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer here in half a decade, then like roll tide. And, and I say that as a joke. I mean, we've got the SEC flags up here. Just just let me, let, let me do my thing. I want to see him become that. But as of right now, I don't think that, that the film nor the numbers back this projection up. All due respect. And again, I believe he has the potential to become what this projection says.